Chat, what's up, man? YouTube, what's up? This is the Nita Podcast, episode 90. 90, and we came to conclusion. Chat, you guys can agree, disagree. YouTube, you guys can agree, disagree that the best number 90, who is the best number 90? Julius Peppers. That's that's pretty much where we went to. Uh, a Hall of Famer, no doubt about it. But I feel like, was Peppers the best not Now, I mean, it might be a 60-year-old man that watches the podcast that knows somebody in 1970 that was a better 90. Um, but for us that are uh, within the ages of, you know, 40 to 20 or 40 to 15, I think Julius Peppers is it. Uh, Clowney is not half the player that Julius Peppers was. Um, I don't know why you guys would say that. You guys might be 14 and really don't know about Julius Peppers. But I'll be honest with you guys. This was a slow week. Nothing happened this week in Madden. I feel like this is the loneliest, loneliest time of Madden right now, boys. The loneliest time, right? We're all waiting for the new game. It is almost August. The summer's almost over. Nobody can go and leave the house. Early releases on a Tuesday. I mean... I am committed to doing a podcast every single Tuesday. Um, we shall see. Players Lounge Tournament. That's, I mean, I'm really, I, I, I don't know, man. I I haven't really watched any Madden lately. When I say lately, I mean like the last month. Um, especially Regs. I think Regs is disgusting. I, I don't know why. It's just like, I don't know. I'm just kind of. I don't know how to explain it. I'm just really not that interested. I'm really excited. That's a good point. My, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it with the new Madden coming out, early release, EA Access, all those good things. And one thing, as we talk about the new Madden release, you know, we get, uh, as I made a new video on YouTube about how to start competing and some of you guys that are kind of confused about the whole MCS process, how to play in the MCS all of that nature. I did make a new video about that. So if you want to check that out, it's probably amongst my other YouTube videos. If you're in the chat, it's on my YouTube channel. But one of the comments and started to get some steam underneath this was that we get the game earlier than you. And I know for me, that's simply not the case. I don't get the game any earlier than you guys. I, I get the same EA access that you guys get, that I have to download it and I have to... um you know, wait for my EA access and all that and, and keep getting new accounts and things of that nature. These, so my hair could could grow back. It just wouldn't look good. That's so, you know, I don't know. I just I, I just want to know. I don't get the game any earlier than any of you guys. Um, but, you know, some people do think that. But I don't get the game. I don't get the game any earlier than you guys. Um, I get it just like you. So, and, uh, but... There's a lot of people with a lot of excuses. Oh, the pros get the game early. It's impossible to compete with them. That, that was one of the comments that I got. Lord, Lord, when what's good, man? Facts, Vasquez. Facts, bro. Facts. Facts. We don't get it. I mean, I try. Now, you guys, and that's a good question. As we go on a tangent, that I didn't think I'd get here. I didn't think we'd get here on a tangent. Um, For me... Uh, do you guys try to get the game early and where do you try to get it early? It was a lot easier um, before this downloading of, before the physical copy kind of became irrelevant, it was a lot easier because everybody was a physical copy. Everybody had one. Now that it's downloadable, I doubt it's just, there's no more video game stores essentially. You'd always have to find like a mom and pop store that would sell it to you earlier. And honestly, do you guys have video game stores? You know what I'm saying? Do you guys have you guys ever been to a video game store that's not GameStop or Best Buy or Walmart? You know, the only thing I I don't have I never get the game early. The only thing I do is instead of access, I might get the game during access time, but it's never it's never before anybody else can get it. You know what I'm saying? Just press play. Yeah, I don't know where. I mean, most of the times when I find a, a game store, it's more about the past games. You know, like old school, like GameCube and Genesis and Nintendo 64. And, and they'll have a lot of throwback stuff. Maybe some new stuff, but not really the new stuff. You know? Little pop games. Is that right, Vinny C? Lancaster. I'll, I'll, listen, I'll be in Ohio, so I'll try to find Ohio. 
I know I will tell you the biggest glitch for me in the past has been uh, Craigslist. Somebody selling it on Craigslist has always been one of my biggest glitches um, as far as finding Madden early. Just search Craigslist, Madden 21, uh, weeks before it comes out, and you'll, you might be able to get it. There he is, Wesley, 27 months, and my man, CJ, C -E CJ Sex, my man with the Twitch Prime. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it, man. Jesse in the chat, Rico in the chat. Yeah, pop games. See, I, I, listen, I'm going to find some type of rinky-dink store and try to get it early from there. Um, What if the Cowboys sweep the Eagles? I'm glad, Beans, I'm glad that's what you brought to the table. See, and, and, and just like that, when Beans said that, I want to ban the plebs again. I kind of want to ban the plebs. Yeah, Wesley, well, you live on a farm, so. I used to have, I remember one year as we're on this, my man Dan with the, my man Dan with the 10 months, my guy. Oh, the main event, my bad, my bad, the main event with the 10 months. What's up, buddy? How you making out? Um, I remember one year, Madden 09. I want to say, no, it was the year that Palomalo and Fitz were on the cover, Madden 10. Right? Jesse, my guy with the gifted. Madden 10 when they had the dual Palomalu and Fitzgerald on the cover, right? I remember driving my buddy Replay. Now, Re Replay was with this crew SNS, right? And this was back when Madden 09. SNS had like Boy Blue, who was really tough in Madden 09. Uh, and I used to play CFMs with them, honestly. And that's why I know Rich, the guy's sickness, if you guys ever watch him. That's why I know him so well um, from Madden 08 and Madden 09. And I remember I drove to New York, from Philly, I remember I drove to New York to pick up Madden 10, uh, the physical copy, probably a week early. So I was excited about that. But I drove, literally, he gave me the call. I remember driving up to North Jersey. Now I'll tell you, this is kind of before like GPS, before everybody had GPS on their phone. Uh, I remember, I believe I had a, a, I had like one of those Garmin or TomTom GPSs, one of those navigation systems, um, and I drove up there. So it was a lot more difficult. Even 10 years ago, it was a lot more difficult to go somewhere driving far away without GPS on everybody's single phone. So I definitely drove all the way to New York for Madden 10. The first Madden I ever played was Madden 06. I was like a... I didn't play games. I don't want to say I played... I didn't really play games as a kid. I did, but I wasn't like locked in like now or like some kids are now, honestly. Jay, what's up, buddy? Yeah, yeah, not... A, I didn't have to print out the map quest, but I did have like a little navigation device, which a lot of people didn't didn't uh didn't have back then, really. Yeah. Yeah, it might be over for for new games. My man Hancho right there with the six months. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. But early access is as you asked that Demar, early access is we don't talk about it enough. We don't talk about how big of a scam early access is, right? Right? Yo, early access. Game is ready to be played. Game could be released. Let's make them pay <clears throat> to play it when it can be released and delay the release. <laughs> like, it is the biggest scam. Now, I will tell you, um, for, uh, People like myself who buy a lot of packs, you know, thousands of dollars worth of packs. That little 10% you get off for having EA access is beyond worth it, really. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? I, it does come back. And Wesley says, I paid $250. So, he bought what? That's, an, that's like impossible to pay $250 worth of it. EA access is $5 for 10 hours. How is that... I don't know what EA Access you were buying. You were buying, <laughs> you were buying the Star Wars. You got Star Wars. Oh, for packs? Okay. I mean, what the hell? You can't pay. You can't do that much. Five dollars. What's twenty two hundred fifty divided by five? I wish I could tell you. It's fifty, right? Fifty. Oh, it literally. Honestly, oh, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, you talking about? Yeah, it went out. You just kept you. Uh, well, for me, honestly, even if I paid 250 it would make it back. Because if you get 10% off every 100 you put on the game, 
ten dollars. You know, it it pays off. So, but at the end of the day, it is, I it is kind of scummy. You know, because. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't like it. We we talk about um, the best games that everybody played now are free, 100% free. Um, and Madden is Madden and sports games are. Do you guys pay for any other games? I mean, I guess like single player games, but I mean, I don't really play those. You know what I'm saying? So for me, uh, yeah, Eleven Summers it definitely makes up for it. It really does for people that really grind Madden, but. For casuals, maybe not that good. But I guess casuals don't really need to have Madden three days early. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, UFC. Yeah, for me, it's like, okay. The best games are at least all the first-person shooter games are free 99. So I, I, I honestly feel like Madden could be free. One day. One day I feel like, yeah, why not? You know, why not is my question. My man Reem with the 11 months. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. But I do feel like, um, I do feel like, uh, yeah, access is kind of scummy. But anyway, one of my, one, my main topic I thought of today. Now, because, because it was such a slow week, nothing's going on. It's like. The hardest thing to do is talk about Madden when it's literally, this is literally the furthest time from popping because after the beta, right? Between after the beta and between the new Madden comes out, I feel like it's like Madden purgatory. It's like there, it's absolutely like a wasteland. Like there's no, nobody's really watching it right now. Um, and it's even tougher to talk about, right? But so I think to myself, man, what, this is my job. This is why I do, and I am me. And we talked about last week, we talked about what if they raise the prize pool. Like, we need to raise the prize. Fix Madden prize pool. Which, I'll be honest, we talked about it, we moved on. These franchise nerds don't shut the fuck up about franchise mode. They don't. It never stops. Any little post about Madden, Clint could be like, wow, we're really excited about the new blocking mechanics. Here comes Fr Freddy Franchise. Fix franchise mode. The game sucks. Bro, they don't shut the fuck up. For real. Did we not get the point across? Like, it's unreal. Y'all, like, they are so angry. And this was like, how do you make an angry person happy? You will never make that person happy. The, the franchise people will never be happy. It will never be, they'll, they'll never be satisfied. That's what I learned. Literally, every single, listen, we could go, um, I'm mad at right now. In every single post, there's somebody bitching about franchise mode. Somebody's bitching about it. Every single Madden post. Could literally be nothing. Oh, this I'll be. Did you see this week? Oh, the fastest players. The fastest players in the NFL. Tyreek Hill, 99 speed. Here goes Freddie Franchise. Ah, fix the ratings. The screenshot looks the same. The overlay is... The overlay needs new colors. I swear to God. Yeah. Bro, it's insane, yo. They don't stop, bro. They really don't stop. And I feel like they're never... Those people are just never going to be satisfied. Yes, Clint could make a vaccine for, for COVID and the franchise nerds will still say, fix franchise mode, just for them to continue to suck. Just for them to continue to suck at Madden. Jeez. But anyway, so... So my whole thought this week was, what if they did raise the prize pool? Like I said, we kind of got over it, and maybe we have to, maybe we have to keep that pedal to the metal with the fixed franchise, bro. Defund franchise mode. That's a good point. De Honestly, I think franchise mode is too good. I should put that tweet out right now. Honestly, I think too many resources are going towards franchise mode. Oh, that would get spicy. That would get spicy. But I said. One of my ideas this week was, um, essentially, what if they did raise the prize pool? And and the the thought I thought, what if they took the prize pool and times it by ten instead of giving out one million, they're giving out ten. Million. What did they come out? Matt Marcoux comes out like, huh, well, you know, we really thought we needed to raise the prize pool. So this this year, what we're excited to announce is that we're going to raise the prize pool to ten million dollars. Well, that's ten million dollars for all our competitors. We thought we really wanted to give back to the community, and that's going to be our prize pool this week. So if Mark Kugel's out at $10 million, right? What 
and 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 naturally they all be nuts. What would change? And I ask you guys that. What would change for the MCS for the Man 20 season? Because at first, you, at first, at first, the um, the notion is it would be a huge deal. Obviously, it'd be a huge deal. But what would really change? Do you guys think more people would watch it? Because instead of playing for a hundred thousand, now now they're playing this game for a million dollars. Well, essentially, they would probably pay for you know two hundred k. I guess honestly. Honestly, I, I guess it would be easier for people to watch. That's what I'm asking. And because I thought about it, I wanted to ask you guys, do you think more people would watch? Just because they're paying for 10 times as much money. Now, so is this essentially... Now, obviously, it would be great to win that money. Like if I won, you know, 90 or 900,000 instead of 90K, I would be probably a lot better off, you know. Um, so I think it's more for the, you know, the 50 people that win the money. I don't know if it would really make the entire MCS year better uh, from a viewership standpoint. Obviously, EA is dumping 10 times as much money into the players' pockets. So they would be a little more pissed off, right? Yeah, I, do you think it would get double the views for 10 times the money? Do you guys think it would make that big a... Yeah. It would grow the bottom barrel of Madden casuals. You know, would it get 10 times? But I always think... I'll tell you guys this, man. As somebody that's in the market... Literally. As somebody that's in the market for views. That is my job, chat, right? How can you get... One, this is my job. My job is not Madden, right? My job is how can I get people to put their eyes on me, right? All homo, but nonetheless, how can I get people to put their eyes on me and enjoy what they're watching? Once again, yeah, I got I to gotta chill because, you know, it's 2020. I can't go too crazy, right? No, seriously. So that is my job. So my eyes have been opened for the last three years is how can I maximize the people watching me, right? And not only do they have to watch, but they have to enjoy it enough to invest their time and their money and, and their energy, essentially. So that's been my job. And one thing I've learned the most is that it, it is most about marketing, man. Marketing is the biggest thing. And if you want people to watch, you have to promote it. And uh, obviously a tool... And as a promoter, a tool like a million dollar game of Madden would be a tool. But if you don't utilize that tool properly, you're, it's not going to be as successful as somebody with a, a if someone has a hundred thousand dollar game of Madden, but they're using that tool more to their advantage and they're promoting it better. Uh, so I think ultimately the, the marketing is way more important than the actual prize pool that they are playing for, really, you know. See, I don't think, see, one I, one thing I always want to ban is when people compare Madden to Fortnite. I absolutely hate that shit. I, I hate it. It is a night and day game. It is a night and day game. Fortnite, literally everybody in this chat can play. Everybody. Everybody in this chat, everybody pretty much in the world can play Fortnite. If you have ever held a controller, ever, you can play Fortnite. One million percent. So I really, I really feel... That it's such a bad comparison to Madden. And Madden is complete opposite of that. Madden is, for me, is the hardest pick up and play game for kids, for anybody, than, than, than any other game. Honestly. So I, I, I really hate talking about Fortnite. I hate talking about it in compar comparison to Madden. Fortnite, they, they, it has six-year-old kids watching it. You know, and, and, and to compare that to Madden is just, it's unfair. It's completely unfair. Have people get personalities. I, I hate when people say that. Have people get personalities. Like, what does that mean? Do, do y'all think that shit is that important? Do you know? Like, like I, I really just don't, I've never said, like, bro, oh, well, if people have personality, if these players had personalities, like, one, you're never going to, 
you're never going to build personality. You're never going to make somebody have a personality. That's a completely natural thing that a lot of people don't gain until they are my age. You know what I'm saying? Like, teenage gamer kids aren't going to have the personality of a, a social butterfly. They're just not. It's never going to happen. It's just never going to happen. You can't You can't make... And ultimately, you do, it's not a personality contest. It is a Madden contest. So the people that... So you can't just all of a sudden, oh, well, let's make the best Madden players have personalities. You know what I'm saying? My man Snipe, my guy with the five months, man. Snipe, we're going to try to play in the pro tournaments. As always. As always. You know? So, and, and, and this is another thing. If, if, yeah, the be easy guy. I, I just don't think there's a setting. And, and one of the personality things, chat, one of the personality things goes into marketing. It goes into publicity. It goes into promotion as part of personality. Like, there have been plenty of personalities that win win tournaments. You know, that play into... All these guys have personalities. How can we, how can we bring that to the forefront? If you guys think personality sell, obviously it does. Um... I'm not denying that, but uh, they have to do a good job of promoting that or bringing that out or making you aware of who this person is. You're not going to get personality from watching somebody play Madden. There's probably a handful of people ever that had personality while playing Madden. And when you say personality, you just mean somebody that's going to put just tell jokes. Honestly. Like that's all you that's all you mean. Who's gonna get up there and tell jokes and dance around? That's all you're gonna that's all that's what you mean. You know what I'm saying? Cause you'll never get personality out of a out of watching somebody play a game. It's the besi- behind the scenes things. It's hearing that person talk, it's interacting with that person, it's seeing that person in a social setting. And how do you get that experience from just watching an event of Madden? You know what I'm saying? How can you find people from Madden? You know? Because I've played Madden games. I wasn't... I don't talk all Madden games. You guys you guys would say to me, Oh, well, Dubby has a personality. But if I, if I only played in Madden events, would you know that? Would it, would it make that big... Would, do I make that big a difference from somebody else that plays a Madden game? Really? That's what I'm saying. And the YouTube guys, you see them talk all the time. Uh, you interact with them all the time. Streamers, then you notice that's their personality. But from simply watching them play a game of Madden, I really just don't think there's that big a difference. Obviously, there's people uh, that are better than others. But honestly, I just don't think it's it's the biggest thing of playing Madden. You know, it's almost <laughs> dude. It's almost like wrestling, right? It's almost, you guys, obviously, the one thing that always, like, WWE, right? It's a show, right? And the reason we watch it is because we like the wrestlers. At least when you're a kid. Absolutely love The Rock and Stone Cold, Shawn Michaels, Undertaker, whoever it is, because they have a personality, right? But that doesn't show when they're actually fighting, right? Right? Isn't that... Bro, do you know what I'm saying? Like when they're at, that's all behind the scenes things. You know what I'm saying, Chad? And that's that's kind of how I feel about personalities. It is their job to uh, bring the best out of these players for you know for what it is. Honestly, so this is how I feel, right? Chad, hear me, hear me on this. Hear me on this. Volt, right? Hear me on this. When you see Volt, it's probably somebody you guys would characterize as with the least personality, right? Right? I agree. Like, this guy has no personality or anything. But I feel like, production-wise, commentating-wise, they could spin that to kind of like 
an evil genius type of like just locked in persona that doesn't really express himself and they could build his persona and make him a bigger character and a bigger personality than he is i feel and i feel like a, somebody's presence and a personality is built outside of sitting there playing madden honestly really I don't know. I don't think I don't think Madden personalities help things grow. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Obviously, I think production uh, production's good, but I think the personality, as Jag brought that up, is personality. I think that's something they don't dive into a mut enough. You know, I feel like we kind of know Skimbo because he they've done a lot more behind the scene things things with him you know like you got to see that he's into the baseball this that and the third and he's on camera a lot more at those events so that kind of builds his personality and his persona and you know and that's something obviously it's easy enough to say let's just do that with everybody so you get to know these people really yeah kiv is somebody that man they could spin kiv as you know like <laughs> i they you know what i'm saying Yeah. Yeah. So I, I've never been a personality makes Madden events better, really. And if uh, Jay Bruce, NFL players should be more involved. I'll be honest, chat, and and you guys are here. You guys watch. I never find any joy out of watching any NFL player ever play Madden, ever, ever. I absolutely think it's the worst thing ever. Talk to me about that. Maybe because I, I have no casual eye for Madden. I think it's absolutely, uh, absolutely terrible. I think it's absolutely terrible. You know, I don't care how they, how good they are. It's just like. I never, ever, ever, I never, ever think putting those guys, I, I never think that's it's a good thing. I don't know. I don't know if that, I guess it brings, I guess it's easy. My man A-Rab with the 32 months, my guy. What's up, man? Yeah, I don't know. But like I said, it's pretty much going, what if, what if it was $10 million? You know, I'd be a little bit better off, right? I'm saying. I don't know. I don't think. Hey, around this. I, and, and you say that, and I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking in my mind now. Obviously, okay, let's go. Let's put Peyton Manning's going to play Madden on, right? Peyton Manning's going to play on EA stream tomorrow. EA is having a stream, Peyton Man Manning versus Tom Brady in NFL Madden, right? They're playing tomorrow. I, tons of casual people would watch it. But would that continue for the, would they continue to watch Madden or would they just be there to watch Peyton versus Brady? You know what I'm saying? And then the next day when it's on, eh, not that much. They're not going to watch it again because Peyton's not there. Or Brady's not there. I don't know. I just, I, I really am never interested. But that's just me. I'm never interested in pro players playing Madden. You know? Yes, my point is, with the people that tune in for that stream, then tune into another Madden stream when they aren't there. It's almost as if, damn, I don't want to watch this anymore because now Peyton Manning's not there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah.
Excuse me, we're talking about. Uh, I don't. I don't know what we're talking about. Really, just started rapping. T.J. Watt versus J.J. Watt. Watching pro players play his ass. I'd rather watch paint dry. Glad you're in this. Hey, my man, Koo, Koo, Ko. Glad you're in here. Appreciate you, man. I might retire from Warzone room. By the way, pretty much what we're talking is, uh, what if the prize pool was $10 million? How, how positively would it affect the entire scene? Because... The more I thought about it, as as I thought about this topic for out, throughout the day and yesterday, is I don't think it would change that much. I don't think it would benefit. I think honestly, the main people that benefit is the the fifty people that are winning the money. You know, that would be great for sure. But would it? But would it really be that positive for the entire scheme of the MCS? Really? And I thought, uh, and I thought to myself, no. I mean, yes, it was. They, they, and Skimbo, they also said that Jag, my good buddy Jag, said that they need we need players with personality. And I said that EA kind of controls how much personality of a player you see. That is ultimately EA's decision. Now, if you guys think personality matters, because let's be real, most people have some type of personality. Obviously, other people are more uh, eccentric and more comfortable in front of a camera but everybody has some type of personality even jenny look at jenny's tiktok dances we can't capture a tiktok dance on the main stage you know so for me i think every i think it's ultimately their job to display everybody's personality you know yes i need to win if I need to win, Madden would. If I won, Madden would definitely be great. No, but this is the other thing about that, right? So you guys know how Madden works, right? So they build up. Say a Skimble's in the chat. They build up Skimble. Oh, he's the Bill Belichick of Madden. He's the greatest player ever. Look at him break down film. Look at him. He's just a mad scientist. He's always prepared. Nobody does it better than him. Then he loses. Where the hell does their show go now? You know what I'm saying? Like. Where does their angle go now? So they've built up this Madden player for everybody to get ready to watch. Then he doesn't make it. Damn, there goes all the work we put into his personality out the window. People love watching the Patriots and Cowboys lose. The reason, and I'll hear you this, the reason why he can't lose. That's why I think... I mean, that's where you're talking to an invitational with the YouTuber players. So you already have people that have established personalities. Maybe if the Jay Bruski, I don't, you know, you have just been random. Maybe if the pro players get involved, they can help EA cheap ass for the pot, get to 10 to $20 million. What do you mean if the pro players get involved? Do you want me to put $10,000 of my money in there? Is that what you want? What? Okay, yeah, let me go put my 10K in there. Yeah, Skimbo, that's my man. This is the chat has told us if we all put $10,000 in the prize pool, it will get to 20 million. Honestly, not a bad idea, chat. If everybody in this chat put $10,000 in the prize pool, I don't know what's ten thousand times two to three hundred. Are we at three million yet? Or are we at three hundred K? No, that oh we are at three million, aren't we? Ten thousand times three hundred? I don't know. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, boys. Y'all got ten K? My man Johnny Madden with that gifted. Thank you, Johnny. And my man AO Strong with the tier one. I saw that AO, my guy, I appreciate you. Everybody put in 10K, man. Put the money up. What's the problem, bro? I will tell you, I when I won my belt, I was I, I didn't have shit. I remember going out after I won the belt and buying dinner 
for problem. It was me, Skimble Mo, problem, and problems, problem B, and Danny, I think. And I bought dinner for everybody. You, you buy dinner for problem and me. Me and problem alone, our dinner is two hundred dollars. Then you throw skinny Mo and skinny. Actually, Mo and Skimble are both skinny fat, and so they kind of eat too. So I bought dinner for all of them. It was my last. I didn't have any money. So you expect these people <laughs> to have ten thousand dollars? Let's start a GoFundMe. My man Johnny Madden going crazy. My man Ku Ko Ko was gifting a sub after he said something wild. My guy, I appreciate it. Poker is a great model, though. Celebrate the gambling aspect of it. See, now, the gambling aspect of sports and video games, it's a huge part of Madden. I'll be honest. Gambling is a probably a bigger part of Madden than actually playing Madden. And the problem with maximizing gambling is gambling is so illegal and elite. Like, gamble, the legality of gambling is so sensitive I will tell you, if if EA had a live bookie on the Twitch stream, it would be unreal. It would be unreal for Madden. You know what I'm saying? Also, if Madden got put on a Bovado or something like that. Bovado, Bovada, Bovado. I'm not the biggest gambler. If Madden got put on Bovado, it would... Do you guys see... We can see right now the people that are streaming Madden is all going to be bought. Bovada. Whatever. Bovado. I thought it was O. I don't know what I'm talking about. Seriously. Facts, AO. And that's what I mean. That's what I mean, the legality of it. If if Madden got put on there, it would be unreal. Now, there are some other gaming aspects on it. A lot of violence, Jay Brewski. So now, so Jay Brewski, you went from us putting our $10,000 in there, now there's going to be violence. Call of Duty League, they gamble on the Call of Duty League. Yeah, FanDuel for, I'm telling you. If the, honestly, chat, like we love sports, but there's more people that watch sports because they gamble on it. Gambling is a huge aspect of sports that's missing in in. Mainstream Madden, essentially. You know what I'm saying? It is missing in mainstream. Gambling is missing in ma- mainstream Madden. But I will tell you, it's like I said, it's a huge part of Madden regardless. But that's pretty much how I feel about the... Uh, about um, what if it would be better. Would it really be better? Yeah, my 10K. Let me put up 10K. You can bet on a 2K league? Really? You can bet on a, I mean, embracing gambling would be unreal. EA wants players' money funneling to opening packs. Mr. Man Robot, that is genius. You think EA wants people to buy their products? That 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 is just... Bro, really? Honestly, you know what else would be crazy, Jigby? Hear me on this, chat. Hear me on this. My stream, my stream is laggy. I don't know if it's Twitch. I don't know what it is right now, but it's it's getting a little goofy over here on this end. But this is and uh, always now. Hear me on this. Hear me on this. What if do you guys know how you buy packs and say, okay, let me pick, let me pick what team is going to have a better record, and if my team has a good record, I get more coins. Like kind of that gambling type of pack. How honestly, bro? Listen. Let's open. Let's open a million coin pack, right? We have the sixteen people that are in Madden Bowl. You have to put your coin on one person, and if your person wins, you get a million coins for your mutt team. You get to pick one person out of sixteen, and you get a million coins if you hit that right. I feel like boom, that would that would make the MCS pop. Pro picks. There it is. Take your little take your little mutt token, put it on one person. If they win, you get a million coins. I, I honestly feel like the coin selling, their their um their refusal to work with people that are in the coin selling businesses is holding them back, honestly. No, seriously, I feel like everybody yeah, exactly. Just be something like that where they had a coin where you could pick one way or the other and you get a I think that would super help. You know? Exactly. There you go. 
Virgin Gaming. Virgin Gaming was great. It was great. For those of you that remember Madden 12 and 13 or whatever it is, it was tough. Virgin Gaming was the first time I got like a real check from playing video games. And that was like the coolest thing ever. I remember like depositing like $800 into my account when I was what? When I was like 22. I was like, whoa. That's pretty, that's pretty dope. You know, I'm telling you, but you can't do, you can't do real money because real money there, there goes your legality. Thank you, JB. Exactly. I think it would open up a lot of things for, uh, for Madden in general. Yeah, we'll see. But we'll see. But ultimately, the question is: Would would taking the prize pool up by ten, by a hundred, or what is it? By time, by multiplying the prize pool by ten, would it multiply the viewership and the effectiveness of the MCS by ten? Really, my man Jazzy Ryan with the tier one through November, my guy. Thank you, Jazzy. Put some pennies in the chat for Jazzy. Yeah, Virgin Gaming was cool, bro. All right, so we did talk about, we have talked about personalities of Madden. And that's funny. I didn't think we were going to go there. This is how the world works. I didn't think we would start talking about personalities. Um, I didn't think we would start talking about entertaining Madden players. I, I I never thought it was, like, my job to be entertaining when I played Madden on a stage. I never thought, like, all right, I better be entertaining here. Never do I ever think that. It, I mean, obviously, streaming and things like that, you, I, that it crosses my mind. But most everything I ever do is just literally natural what I do in, in real life. What I would do if I was playing basketball. What I would do if I was playing bowling was against somebody. It's, it's literally the same thing. You know, it's the same emotion. It's the same... It's not stage or it's not something I think about. You know what I'm saying? I so I, I never my man Daryl with the Twitch Prime. Can y'all unban my man? I don't know I don't know why he got you know what I'm saying he had the Twitch Prime on me. Shawnee, what's up? I never thought to my mind, like, let's be entertaining. Like I have to be entertained. That was never something that I thought about when I was on the stage. Andy, what's good, man? But I will bring and this brings me to my game. Now, I, I will tell you, Madden 18, what do we have? Like, another month before Madden 20, or Madden 21. So, we're going to have a couple more weeks of Madden 18 games. Now, this game I want to talk about, it's not the most, it's not the most, um, it's not the most renowned game. It wasn't for a championship, it wasn't for a belt. This was actually a quarterfinal of the Madden Challenge. The Madden Challenge is the one journey run. It is draft champions. Now, Madden 18... I don't know if you guys remember about Madden 18. I don't know if it was good, bad, or terrible. I don't really know what it was. It was the 91 zone year. It was the air truck year. Uh, I hate those. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. So, but this is a game. It was a, actually, I, it was one of my games. I love talking about my games because I'm actually able to give you guys like a super insight rather than just what i think and this was i played joel so we talked about entertaining people joel is probably uh on the top of the list of people you guys want to watch play madden right uh so i played joel this was the madden challenge i was in a group at the time was one of the best groups um one of the best groups ever at the time because it had me uh hollywood drini and kiv so at the time it was i was the only belt winner in the time and what's crazy about this live event is that I was the only person that was, like, over 21 in this whole live event. Literally, I was the only person. Um, I was the only person that was over 21 in this live event. So I was in there with Hollywood, Kiv, and Journey. So the little babies. Um, I actually went one and two uh, in the group, but I kicked the shit out of Hollywood. And so my point differential was so good that I moved on. I had to play Joel... Uh, to get to get to the final four. Yeah, let's talk about it. Yes, this is the game that Joel... And we'll watch it because this game... Let me cover this stuff up, though, man. I don't know. This game... Tweed's in the chat, my guy. What's up, buddy? Now, I remember Draft Champions, to get to the live event... Um, To get to the live event, 
for me, uh, it was tough because it was only 16 people, I think, that made this. The Classic was eight people. 16 people made this event. Um, and they had just tweaked uh, Draft Champions before this. Now, Draft Champions at the online part was really uneven. It was really uneven. Everybody had 91 zones. Everybody could have, you know, five 91 zones or no 91 zones. Once we got to this event, right? Once we got to this event, it was even. So everybody had the same zones. Everybody had the same, uh, whatever it may be. Everybody had the same amount of 91 zones and great players and everything like that. So it was even team. And I remember Joel literally just ran the ball. He just ran, ran, ran. And, and this time of the year, actually, there was this L1 juke where you could juke out the first person every single time. If your person had any type of juke, you would get the first person every single time, whether it was a user any single player you were juking out the first time with this L1 juke. And uh, going into this game, I knew Joe was just going to run stretch, 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 stretch. There was more stretch in this game in Madden 20. I, I don't know. Madden 18 or Madden 20. Which one had more stretch? Uh, I, dude, I'm telling you. Madden 20. We forget about Madden 18, but there was a lot of stretch in Madden 18. And I had great stretch defense. I 1 million percent had the best stretch defense in the whole tournament, I believed. Um, throughout this game, I'll show you guys exactly what happened or why uh, it was rough. But like I said, I, I stopped the stretch really early, really well. And I, I don't know if I get the ball. Look at this. Like, look at this. Like, look at this. I'm just pissed watching this. I'm just pissed watching this back. I really am just pissed watching it back. Just great throw right there. Quality. Just quality. Man. And did I have Anthony Barr? Yeah, so everybody had a really good team in this Draft Champions uh, tournament. Everybody had a really good team. We all had good playbooks, um, as I have Jarvis Landry right here. The, my biggest problem was I did not have... I don't know why I spun right... And I look back I look back at myself play these games. I, I had no run stick at all. I had Green Bay playbook. I know that. But I had Kirk Cousins was my quarterback, which was the biggest L of my team. But it was a decent Kirk Cousins at the time. He was pretty good. And Green Bay Playbook was super tough. And Chris Thompson was the running back. Chris Thompson actually had, like, super juke. And you could do this L1 juke all the time. Yeah, I ran a lot of tight offset in Green Bay. A lot of corner strike. Boom. That was Skimbo's dot that I was not good at in this tournament. If I was good at this dot, oh, my, I would have won this tournament. I was good. I, this one play... The Skimbo's little play that he put just throw the C route like before it gets back open. Bro, if I was good at that for this tournament, oh my god, I would have won the tournament. But I wasn't good at it. I just kind of knew it. I didn't know it all that well, bro. Do you think these graphics are ass? We always say, oh man, it looks better. Man, graphics look this, that, and the third. Look how fast they flip. So this is what you guys don't don't see. People don't remember that this was my play for for how long. Just the absolute master of this play. And right there, you see, I had Adam Thielen. I will never have Adam Thielen ever again. Never have him again on a team ever. Coda, what's up, man? Drag, drag, corner, post. Literally all you needed um, if you had a good route runner. And that's something I, I remember. Look at how I have. Jarvis Landry, Adam Thielen, Deshaun Jackson, and I believe DeAndre Hopkins. Look at this. Yeah, that was a bad play. See, this is one play where I'm like, see, this is this is like classic W overthinking. I'm dotting the shit out of him, right? I'm going to audible down. I think, you know, he's going to run commit. Because actually, you know what happened here, chat? This was the weak box here. Remember weak box when... After after I won a belt running dollar against every formation, they put this weak box shit in the game. Where if you came out and, and this is why I want yo Clint, I this game, I, I I was so pissed off. I remember this game so bad. Now remember weak box when they put weak box in the game where you if you run the ball and against dollar everybody will fall down right. Now. That didn't happen. I thought he would run commit because I caught him in dollar against the run. He did not run commit right there. But weak box, this is man 18. Yeah. So he did not run commit. Uh, I thought he would because he was caught in dollar against the run. 
So, like I said, a little bit of over overthinking right there. And I remember weak box. We're definitely going to come back to that later in the game. We have him on aggressive. This was the aggressive year. Aggressive year was great and terrible. It. I don't know how to explain it. I think it was a super L. Aggressive pass rush was a super L in Madden 18. Pretty much super L. All <laughs> I'm glad they got rid of that. Put it that way. So, that's Jarvis Landry making plays. When you got that route running, he can get open. He can make plays. And that's why I had Jarvis Landry at that right cornerback spot. So, here it is. This is the play. This is the part of the game I was, like, beyond pissed. I remember talking to Clint at the time, like, dude, what's up? I remember this. This is dollar. This is three down linemen, all DBs, and nobody's getting pancaked. Not a single person. So naturally, I think I no huddle here. No huddle because I want him to have dollar on the field because they're going to get pancaked. And at first I thought, oh, it doesn't work on stretch because I, I just run stretch again or I run dive. Maybe it only works on dive or stretch. But I run stretch again. Nobody got pancaked. DB shed. Naturally, we're going to no huddle again because I don't believe this. This is impossible. Maybe it doesn't work on stretch. Let me audible the inside zone. And he's damn sure going to get pancaked, right? But, of course, no pancakes and I get tackled right away. Uh, Fourth and goal right here. Um, I already got a turnover. I already got him to punt the ball. I, I feel like you have to take your field goal here, chat. I don't know. Do I go for this? I don't think I go for this. No, we don't go for this. Don't drop our nuts. I feel like with a possession already in hand, I got to take three to get the lead. That's how I feel. No, I just feel like, look at that punt. That was a dot. I just feel like you have to you have to take the possession lead. So, like I said, now we're just great run defense. I have amazing run defense for the stretch in this dive. Literally, if 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 Joel can't if Joel can't run the ball, he can't score. That literally just cannot pass. If he can't run, he can't score. That's pretty much how how this game, how my defense was. And, and that was a lot of people in this year, uh, Madden 18. It, it was tough to stop the run more because of this juking, this left trigger juking and all of that nature, more so than anything else. Here you go. Madden 18. Bro, Madden 18, looking back, I don't know if it was terrible. It was kind of cheese. I don't know if it was better 18 or 19. I don't know which game was worse. Uh, I don't really know which one was worse, but there we go. That's that little juke I'm talking about. They're just any juke move pretty much got every got the user. It got any person in the world, a user computer were falling on every single juke. Eighteen was better than nineteen. Look at that run defense. I feel like my run defense is good. I feel like it's really good. And this is where. Things kind of went south. Where well, he found that he found I'm going to run bunch inside zone. Once he found that, we started having a little more trouble. But it looked good right there. Oh, we just hit stick him forward. See this bunch in. Bunch tight end inside zone. See, that user just got, that juke just got every single person. Just get an extra 10, 15 yards every, because the, the first person got juked every time. You would have to, like, try to move away. What's crazy is you would have to try to, like, take your defender, move away, let him do a juke animation and tackle. And at the time, dude, that stuff, that's the hardest shit to do. Here we go again, just nobody to tackle him. He's just, this bunch, now... The biggest problem with this is that my bunch inside or my uh, my stretch defense was not good against inside zone. That's what I learned fast, really. But one thing in the Madden game, you don't necessarily believe that, yo, oh, that's a dot. In fact, you don't really believe that, yo, my defense is bad. It's, it's not the first time you see a run pop you. That makes you say a big dot right there to d -Jack. Probably should have rat caught that and scored a touchdown. I don't know. I'm kind of ass. Was there rat catches this year? I guess so. Why? I don't know, Chad. Yeah, of course there was, right? Yeah. 
No, I don't think... No, Deshaun Jackson doesn't score. He's not that much faster than these dudes. He's not that much faster. And and I tell you, so you don't realize this. Bro, they would break... They would literally get juked on every juke if they had the angle. So I'm thinking he's going to get juked. Like, the juke was OP. It really was. But I just did it a little bit too early, I think. You know? Really. But like I said, go back, going back to defense, you don't think your defense is ass or right away, the first drive. You still believe in your defense. You don't abandon shop until later. It, it takes Chad, let me know how long does it take you guys to abandon ship and be like, yo, this is not this is not working. Now here I want to use some time so he doesn't get the ball back. I get the ball at half. I feel good. Um I feel fine on, on offense. I really do. I feel like everything's working bunch. Tight offset. Every single thing I'm doing, I have I, his defense is. I, I feel fine against everything he's doing on defense. Yeah, I feel like, bro, I don't gotta abandon my defense yet, ever. Here we go, my man. There he is, Landry. He kind of got boxed right there. Needed. That was my first incompletion. Here we go again. Third and nine. We're gonna run Y out for the Chaloops. Now, this is where I have Thielen. Now, Thielen didn't have 91 route running. I think Landry was my only real route runner. And you see that right there as he got boxed. I did not expect him to get boxed. Uh, broken up. Now, if I could have kicked this field goal, I probably would have kicked this field goal, honestly. But I could not kick this field goal. And you damn sure aren't punting. I don't think I could kick this field goal. I I, I one million percent would have kicked if I could. And, I, and looking back, I don't think it's that far of a field goal. But I could not make this field goal. But that's a mega dot right there. Of course I was in Tim's, man. Yeah, we could, I couldn't make a 38, 48, 55 yarder? 55 yarder. No. Uh, right there, I feel like, bro, I could have had a way bigger play. So he's using his timeouts to get the ball back, essentially. And we're just, we just want to milk, milk some time right there. Now, where does 70 go? Because somebody just tell me, watch 70. Where did you go, bro? Like, bro, if you block this, like, look at this. Like, they, like, like, bro, they say I don't have run stick. Look at this shit that happens to me. Where is this guy going? Where is he going? Yo, if you block him, we get a block here and it's one-on-one -on -one with this guy. Like, What? Like, that's insane, man. And just... Now, this... When I look back at my entire Madden career, right here, this is probably the biggest drop I ever... Like, this is sickening. And the number one reason I'll never have Adam Thielen ever in my life. Ever in my life. There's no way Adam Thielen drops that on a possession catch. There's no way. That was a dot, dude. You cannot drop this, man. So when I look back, this is one of the biggest drops. I'm talking about get the ball inside the 10. If I catch that, I get the ball at the four-yard line, first and goal. Literally can take the whole half with me and get the ball back, honestly. Yes, exactly. That, 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 this hurt. This honestly hurt looking back like, bro, I need that caught. I need that caught, honestly. I need that caught. So I had to kick again, so it's 7-3. Beautiful kick. Beautiful kick out of bounds right there. He has no timeouts. But honestly, this this inside zone start hurting me. So now next drive, I'll shift my line that way. I'll try to shoot the gap. I got blocked. He's getting freaking 20 yards or 18 yards on that right there. There's no runoff. This is Madden 18. It's not Madden 20. There's no runoff. He has separation. That's all you needed. And, it's, and right there, I called timeout. My, my defense was bad right there. I don't know why I called timeout. Bro, Thielen, Thielen isn't a speed receiver. He's a possession guy. Catch it. That's your whole job. Spam, spam, spam. Run. He's running again. Get out of bounds. I mean, dude, look at my guys getting just fucking mauled. Look at this shit. If my blocker's blocked like this. Yeah, dude, it was bad when I dropped that, that catch right there. Great defense. Tried to pass, I'm telling you, it was, it was ugly every single time. Every single time. All I got to do is stop this. I Actually, this is 3-3-5 wide I went to and said, you know what, no more inside zone. See, the juke, that's like the juke, I got to have better stick there tackling. But the juke literally got, it literally got your user every time. 
Like, you would have to back up and let him juke. And I, that was bad stick. And then he gets out of bounds at that. Spam, spam, spam. But he runs out the half. Like, cause like, like how do, how does a man run the ball here and not go up right out of bounds? Like, what is what is this? That was honestly terrible. I guess he couldn't make the field goal anyway. He had to get that first down. Halftime, RG and Cole. RG suit. I'm not. I don't know. Y'all feeling the RG jacket? W or L? I mean, Jesus, they really had halftime shows back in the day. The jacket was an L. Nobody liked it. Bro, so honestly, I, if you watch this game, I kicked the field one on one yard line. Thielen had that huge drop. He's on aggressive again. Um, I feel tough, chat. I feel tough. Okay, Chris Thompson, get up out of there. I feel tough. No, the butters are not still told, Brendan. Come on, bro. Okay, see that, and that, you know, that's what killed me this year, is I was so good at scrambling with the quarterback this year, and I had nut-ass cousins. I wanted Cam Newton so bad. Like, he whooped his ass. Why out, bro? I'm telling you. Like, why out was so hell. Joe didn't know what to do against this shit. He didn't know what to do, bro. Okay, flat routes. Flat routes with the juke. Give me a cool five. Yeah, bow at every position was the worst shit ever. PA post, best play in Madden 18. Or Madden, yeah. Missile. I mean, just absolutely missile and shit right now. Just absolutely missile and shit. I don't know where. I don't know what. Chris Thompson was on the, the Red Wolves. And of course, you know that. Welcome to W. Welcome to the fucking W show. I get a gapped by look at these like like bro. I swear to God, I don't be bitching about the game. I don't. But when I look back at this shit, look, like like what, what, what? Oh my God! Honestly, I should have ran the ball there at all. That's my fault. Overthought it. Overthought that, but now we got second and goal on the what you what you call it second and goal on the ten yard line, corner strike all over the place right here, missile. Uh, how can uh, how can a man get how can a man that get what you call it? Bad, it's bad timing, bro. Okay, okay with the angles. My man got a bad timing user pick or a bad timing why? I think I missile some shit here. Missile. There it is. Boom. Dot. Touchdown. In route specialist, bro. It's just yo, you could not stop the little juke. Second and twelve. All I gotta do is stop this. See now I'm I'm kinda God damn it, dude. My team sucked, dude. Who is fighting for my money right now? Chat, can you find one person on my team that's fighting for my money right now? Run, 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 run. Easy, I was kind of ass, honestly. I, I was so bad at tackling. Looking back, man, I was. It was hard to tackle in this game, really. It was hard to tackle in this game. There it is. Oh my god. Look at my team, bro. Was this target passing? I mean, I feel like it's right there, though. 
I feel like my de- defense isn't bad. I feel like we're right. All we got to do is make a play. Somebody got to make a play for me. There it is. There it is. Third and six. Yeah, inside. honestly, inside zone killed my stretch defense. My stretch defense was super good. That was a dot. My stretch defense was super good. Air truck. But my, my it was not good against... Um, Good job right there, 21. Yeah. So that was bad defense, I guess. I don't know. Air trunk. I mean, this, but at this time of the year, honestly, the juke was better than the. This was juke time. This was not trucking time. I don't think. I don't know. Everybody was juking. That's why I have Chris Thompson, because he could juke. But I can't get an open field because nobody can block. Okay, little baby dot to Chris Thompson. Okay. I mean, I don't know why I'm not in Y out. Oh, quick snap. Okay. Tempo on offense. Okay, okay. That's no big deal. That's no big deal. Yes, yeah, spin year. But I'm telling you, the one thing that did kill me, I was so good scrambling. I think I get boxed here, honestly. Oh, I need that card. Hopkins? Come on, Hopkins? Just don't have the speed right there. Anybody fast, that's a tutty. This was a good defense, though, really. Corner route still. Corner route. It's just tough. Draft Champions was tough because if you didn't have the speed that you're used to, it's going to get rough. Nah, that shouldn't have been. He was boxed. If he was a little faster, honestly, I should have put, this should have been Deshaun Jackson there. But the players really weren't all that fast, really. But it's just this fucking inside zone, bro. Truck. Juke. My team was selling the bread, bro. Like, what happened there, bro? This looks like Madden 20, me, me trying to play run defense right now. Now he runs in the end zone. This fucking inside zone killed my life. Oh, that was dirty. Oh, my God. That was sexy. Oh, my God. That was sexy. Oh, my God. That was just... Oh, my God, Chet. Oh, my God, Chet. Oh, my God. That was sexy. Big Dime and Madden 19. The Madden 19 was 335. But I knew I had to, whatchamacallit, I had to get this two-point conversion. This was my money play. That shit was money for so long. Then I patched it. They like patched that play. So I tied the game up, bro. I'm feeling good. Now, this is where I have abandoned, bro, I have abandoned my inside. I have come out in 3-4 even now. I have abandoned my regular stretch defense because I know I know I can stop inside zone. I, I if he runs stretch I might be boxed, but I'm not getting beat by this inside zone. Bro, they colored in my beard so crazy this tournament. Yeah, there it is. Boom. Now you got to pass. I remember saying that. Now you got to pass, kid. Oh, this was dirty. Oh, this look at the step up. Look at the arch. Look at the touch. Oh, that camera view was kind of tough too, chat. Or that camera view was kind of tough. So now third and 15. Joel has no idea what to do when it's time to pass. He's got Dan Marino and he gets sacked. 
Boom. So this is when I look back on my life. I always tell myself, man. Now, hear me on this, chat. Now, I don't play anybody that runs single back wide trips, right? I don't play anybody that does that, right? I don't play anybody that does single back wide trips. Everybody I play runs bunch. And bunch, for me, bunch was unstoppable in Madden 18 when you got to fourth and forever. When you could smart route any 20-yard situation, you could not stop a corner route and an in route. You could not stop that corner route. You had to guard that corner route. There was no protect the sticks. Protect the sticks did not work in this game at all. Zones would drop back 15 yards, so anything over their head... No, seriously. Anything over their head is complete. Right? Anything over their head is complete. And that, I know that going into the play. Right? I know that going into the play. So I have to blitz every single person. Really. And it's just, I, I, I blitz every single person. I turn on aggressive. We're on aggressive. Every single person is blitzing. Deep blue, deep blue, deep blue. Now, I have no idea how, what fucking play is coming in this, this play. I have no idea. Obviously, out routes. But I'm assuming one of these guys is on an in route. In route, out route, right? That's what you assume. In route, out route. So I have to kind of guard this guy. It's going to be an in route. Somebody has to fight. We sent every single person on a loop. Nobody fights. Everybody stays home. And he can run 25 yards down the field and throw an out route. Boom. There's nothing. You can't stop that. (laughs) You can't stop 25-yard routes in this game. You couldn't. I'm saying you just could not stop those routes in this game, really. But honestly, as bad as it was, and I win that game if I stop this. He said that was the best pass ever. Oh, it's so hot! I threw an out route. That that shit was like. And then this dude just runs, runs inside zone, breaks a tackle. Todd Gurley going off. I sent everybody wrong. No, that play didn't decide it. I, I got to stop the run better. Look, I just let him run back in the field goal range. Really. Yeah, he just ran wherever he wanted. Yeah, I lost because of that. But my run defense wasn't good enough. Oh, yeah, that was hell. Fucking 25-yard out route was hell. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, the best dot ever. Yeah, but that was honestly, uh, but they fixed that. I mean, protect the sticks works, but when I look back at it, if it was two out routes, I feel like I could have stopped that and covered two, bro. Yeah, my run defense wasn't that good. I mean, could have held him up right there. Joel was joke. Yeah, I guess they, I mean, yeah, I don't know, but I don't think I could have really did anything different on the fourth down, really. I just, maybe I could have sent everybody. Honestly, I didn't know how to defend that, that formation, because I never play, I, you never, you never play against a single back, like, normally you're used to defend a bunch where you know you have to blitz everybody. You know what I'm saying? Five four, Michael. Like, bro, I'm, I'm just done. People always look down on runners, I guess. I don't know. I'm just. I don't know. People don't look down on runners. I don't know. I don't know if it's that. I don't know if I don't know if people look down on runners. I don't know if, if that's the case. I think I think this year was worse, especially like the 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 nasty streak time is a little worse. Running is always a big part of competitive men. Running is a big part of football because if you can run the ball, one you don't risk uh, fumbling, throwing interceptions, you don't risk anything bad. You know you can just run the ball. You don't have to be cute. You don't have to you know make somebody make a read, call the right plays. You can run the ball. It's easier. 
Like, it's the easier way to do things. Running the ball will always be a big part of Madden and, and football. You know, there's been so many tournaments where people do way worse running than we've seen in Madden 20, honestly. No, but it's, Vasquez is different. Yeah, what's my sign? How, like, bro, like, what, like, what? How is that, like, relevant? Yeah, it kills it. Running, running the ball will always be easier than passing. So, uh, people will, uh, tend to, whatchamacallit, people will tend to lean that way. It's easier to win games. There's less risk, essentially. So, running will always be a big part. You know, running is like camping in war zone. Yeah, it is. It's easier. It's, it's uh, less risk. It's less risk. It's pretty much the biggest thing. It's not even about it being easier. It's less risk. But honestly, that was a good game. Um, I feel like I hold that game, but I didn't play good. I don't think I played good defense, honestly. I don't know. I don't think I played that good of defense. I had really good stretch and dive defense. I didn't have good inside zone defense that game. No, I think I still had those Tims. I don't know where they are, bro. I, I, I honestly that four from twenty two probably like. Prob. I don't know what I could have did different, but I don't know. Obviously, I would. You know what I'm saying. Honestly, for me, um, it's probably the second, the second, um, play I would take back in my whole Madden career is the second one, really. That 4th and 22, really. Because that game was super winnable. And I thought I played really well on offense that game. No, I'm not doing wish list with the chat no more. The chat the chat doing whatchamacallit. I mean, the 4th the, the and 22 to me is like, if you played Madden, you understood that you couldn't stop anything over 20 yards. Any route, you couldn't stop it, really. So it's like, what could you really do? <clears throat> I wish I should have blitzed eight people, honestly. Should have user rushed. But I feel like I needed my user to cover the middle of the field. Maxwell, what's up, buddy? But yeah, that was Madden 18, I, like I said, I don't know if it's worse than Madden 19. I mean, I, I honestly feel like, I feel like Madden 20 is better than 18 and 19. I don't know. Y'all might call me crazy, but I think it's better than 18 and 19. That's what I'm saying. I feel like I had to guard the middle of the... Uh, I had to guard the middle of the field there. My team sucked that game. Easy, you're right. I'm, I'm ready to blame my team. I'm blaming Thielen. I'm blaming nut-ass Chris Johnson. I'm blaming... The, or Chris Thompson. I'm blaming the right guard that didn't block that linebacker on that play. I'm blaming a lot of shit. I'm blaming... I'm blaming where was my weak box on the first drive on my running plays inside the 10? Where were my where was my weak box? I got weak box my whole life. I couldn't run dollar in Madden 18. Seriously. Suppose you really couldn't stop. You couldn't stop 20 yard routes in that game. Like you dead ass could not stop 20 yard routes, really. No, that's all. But what are some other Madden 18 games? I want to talk about Madden 18. I, last year in the summer, we talked all about Madden 17. Hey, my guy. Let me go see who donated. I don't even know where to look at this, honestly. My stream labs isn't. Which one of y'all donated? Got to open my stream labs. And then Joel played Kiv, and he played Kiv really tough after that, honestly. My man DJ Willie, I should have known, bro. The chaos game. No, Madden 18 was... Who was on the cover? Brady? Who was on the cover of Madden 18? Brady might have been 19. Oh, Antonio Brown. Yeah, that's right. Antonio Brown. Tweeds and Chaos game, that was not classic. It was classic because Chaos went crazy.
OBJ was Madden 16. That's why they had the aggressive catch in Madden 16. We just throw it up and hold Y. You know? All right. Well, this was, like I said, what was your other favorite? As I asked you guys, you said Tweez and Chaos. Man 18, that's your favorite games. Skimbo vs. Problem, uh, Club Series, great game. Um, Ghost vs. Safa, Club Series was a great game. Drag vs. Canes and Club Series was a great game. Uh, I don't know if that's even footage-wise. Um, Man 18, we talked last, or the last one we talked about was Journey vs. Kiv in the Championship. Um, boom, 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 boom. yeah, me and Safa in Ultimate League was definitely tough. Uh, Dragon Strafing, I don't, it might have been 18, I don't know. Skimbo Tweez, that was good. The Classic was a good tournament. That Madden Classic was popping. The way they did that one, I don't know why they ever got away from that, bro. Seriously. Now, obviously, I guess Jacksonville kind of derailed that plan 100%. But I don't know if the format was supposed to be the same. Skimbo Blocky. Yeah. So you two, let me know what were your favorite games for Madden 18. And we can put those ones. We can talk about those next week and the next, like, what, three weeks to come before Madden 20. One comes out. Crazy Madden 21. Coming out in one month, about one month, right, boys? One month. But anyway, this was the new podcast, episode 90. 91 next week, chat. Best 91 ever. Go. 91, 91, 90. Fletcher Cox locked. Fletcher Cox is locked as the best 91 ever. Agree or disagree, chat? Mean Joe Green? Over Fletcher Cox? I don't have that, Adam Brown. Was Mean Joe Green 91? I don't think he's 91, though. I think you're just capping. Five more weeks? Jesus. I don't know. But, all right, I'll highlight y'all, man. This has been real. Next week, we are, uh, whatchamacallit? Next week, we are rocking more Madden 18 games. We'll see what goes on in the community, but more we can talk about next week.